My name is Jason Morosco. I work for Ultimate Air, the manufacturer of the recuperator. Uh, I wanted to talk briefly about um, cold climates and ERV or HRV. So do I want a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator in a cold climate? So uh, the question really boils down to is in the winter, in the heating season, do you need to do anything to humidify or dehumidify your house? If in the winter uh, your humidity level is perfectly fine with, uh, uh, know, with all aspects of how you live and what your house does with it, then I suppose you might be able to get by with an HRV which means uh, when installing an ERV in that situation, you will not be using the moisture transfer function, which makes no difference. So you could use an HRV or an ERV. Now, if you uh, need to actively humidify, in other words, you are too dry, uh, or you need to actively dehumidify, in other words, you have too much humidity inside, which means I have condensation on my windows, uh, and etc. Uh, both of those cases, um, there could be, you know, uh, definitely in the case where you want to add humidity to the house with uh, something that you had to pay for, uh, putting in an HRV and that's in that case, uh, you would be throwing all of that humidity that you just put into your house outside without recapturing any of it. So an ERV in that case is going to capture some of that humidity and keep it inside. Um, still, in, in both of those cases, when the outside humidity is less than the inside, both an ERV and an HRV are going to dehumidify the house. The HRV is going to dehumidify it much faster than the ERV. I said the ERV is going to transfer some of the moisture back into the incoming air, but uh, whereas the HRV will transfer none of that moisture back into the incoming air. So, uh, switching to if your house in the winter is too humid, like I said, both an ERV and an HRV are going to act as a dehumidifier in that case, uh, the HRV uh, could be too fast. The ERV is going to retain some moisture in the house. Uh, if you want to dehumidify faster, you can increase the flow. But again, with respect to a overly humid house in the winter, both the ERV and the HRV will dehumidify uh, let's say the HRV set at uh, 40 CFM is going to be the same as the ERV set at 70 CFM as far as dehumidification goes. So you can see, you know, if you wanted to increase the dehumidification aspect with an ERV, you would just increase the flow, same as an HRV. So, you know, what it boils down to is an ERV in most respects, in most climates, is going to be the better solution. Um, and again, what I want to say is if you've chosen that an HRV is acceptable in your house and in your climate, it's, it's absolutely no detriment to use the ERV in, the, in place because you just won't be using the moisture transfer function. It's not an and or situation, the ERV will be just fine.